commemorations of the Centenary of Independence 1921. In the year of 1921, it was 100 years since the consummation of the War of Independence. Therefore, celebrations were arranged around the centenary of the consummation of independence in 1921. Álvaro Obregón, the then president, encouraged the activities to have a popular character. In addition, the commemorations were marked by a civic discourse aimed at promoting revolutionary nationalism. Starting in March 1921, the Excelsior and El Universal newspapers called for literary, photography and painting contests, among others, to celebrate the centenary of the consummation of the independence. El Universal, directed by Félix Palavicini, Launch the La India Bonita contest. The winner was Maria Viviana Uribe, a 16 year old from Puebla who became a symbol of nationalism at the time by frequently appearing in print media, civic ceremonies, and parades on September 27. Likewise, President Álvaro Obregón appointed the Committee for the Celebrations of the First Centenary of the Consummation of Independence, giving the celebrations an official statement. The characters, selected for 1921, represented the new official discourse and the mestizo character of Mexico, recognizing the place of Vicente Guerrero as the finisher of independence and opening a debate around the figure of Agustín de Iturbide, related to the Mexican elite. Emphasis was placed on education, hygiene, culture, and care for children. Which is why during the month of September, a daily school was opened in Mexico City, and one of the most important events of these commemorations was the cult Children's Week from September 11 to 17. Finally, on the 27th, the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag was made in the National Palace a tribute to the heroes of independence in the Metropolitan Cathedral, a civic and military parade and a large popular festival in the vicinity of the capital's main square. Despite the popular nature of the commemorations, the capital's allies took advantage of the occasion to resume some old practices abandoned due to the revolution, such as dances, bullfights and opera. In a conciliatory effort between the elites of the capital and the revolutionary government, President Obregón and his wife, Maria Tapia, attended the Covadonga bullfight. In the end, after the revolution, the country needed peace, stability and solid identity values. Secretaría de Cultura Gobierno de México